Thanks for joining us this evening on TKO8 Local News. Well, it was pretty much business as usual last night for the justices of the Boone County Quorum Court. One standout uh, update came from Bob Mauser with Ritter Communications updating the Quorum Court on the expanding services coming to Boone County. Uh, we're here tonight to ask for a, uh, a, well, I guess to discuss possibly, a uh, countywide video franchise. We have, um, from the Arkansas Public Service Commission, we have a statewide authority to operate uh, broadband and voice service anywhere in the state. But the FCC has said that the local authority has responsibility for video uh, franchise. So in your case, that would be the county. We do have, um, and we're before the Harrison City Council right now, but we also have some uh, city video franchises. So we're asking for tonight about a, a countywide video franchise for areas outside of those cities where they would be the local authority for, to grant that. Um, so our, our service is, a, I'll tell you this, there's some in our industry that would debate whether or not we would need to ask for that. Um, you can see the complete proceedings online of the Quorum Court at our website, tko8.com. Alpena's town council was unable to make progress on a sewer system proposal during Monday night's special session because of an absent council member. The missing council member was Alderman Herbert Cobb. Several unsuccessful attempts were made to contact Cobb. Also, Alpena Police Chief Mark Bailey was unable to find Cobb at his home. Without Cobb, the council was forced to end the special session. The session was meant to pass the three ordinances and the resolutions required to hold the special election later this year that would allow the council to use the money generated by the town's 1% sales tax to fund a sewer system project. The council is currently looking to reschedule the session for a later date. The Chickasaw Council of the Boy Scouts of America is responding to the arrest of a former Arkansas Cub Scout leader on child pornography charges. However, the charges are not connected to the boys, uh, the boys uh, that he supervised. Christina McCarthy is charged with sexual indecency with a child and computer child pornography. She is a former den mother in the Marion, Arkansas chapter. Through an anonymous tip, and investigators learned and confirmed with Boy Scouts of America that McCarty used the work as a used to work as a scout leader. Scout leader Jason Goodbar said that McCarty was removed as a leader more than three months ago. When asked, Fisher would not elaborate as to why she was removed, but did say that child safety is the Boy Scouts' number one priority. Governor Asa Hutchison has ordered the Arkansas flag to be flown at half-staff in tribute to the memory of Newport Police Lieutenant Patrick Weatherford, who was killed in the line of duty on Monday. The flag order began yesterday and will remain in effect until Weatherford's funeral and burial. We'll bring you more details on this story as it unfolds. For the 40th consecutive year, John Henry Shaddock's wagon train will leave Harrison on Friday morning for a six-day trip to Springdale and the 73rd Annual Rodeo of the Ozarks. Shorty Ozier said he will be making his 31st trip this year with a wagon train, which also includes horseback riders of all types. The wagon train will leave the Northwest Arkansas District Fairgrounds in Harrison at 9 a.m. Friday and make its way down the Harrison Hill and turn west on Stevenson Avenue. Osier said the 390 said that the uh, train will then continue on Highway 392 out of the city and on to Lone Oak Dairy Road, where participants will take a break about 10:30 with the Harrison Cowboy Church Hospitality Group. Osier said they plan to hit Springdale early next Thursday afternoon and will join the annual rodeo parade then attend the rodeo that night. Stay with us. Be back in a moment. We'll take a look at some headline news from around the region as TK08 News continues. 
Planting season is far from over in the Ozarks, but Camps Plants is already beginning the spring closeouts. There are so many we can't possibly list them all in one 30-second commercial. But here's a few to get you started. 14-inch common mixed patio pots, regularly $29.95, now only $12.95 each. Four-pack bedding plants, normally $3.29, now only a buck fifty. Prices are subject to change, but they'll be going down. In the same location for over 30 years on Main Street in Harrison. Camps Plants. Let's get dirty. The Townhouse Cafe in downtown Harrison is offering a great reason to wake up on Saturday mornings. Their incredible brunch. Starting at 7 a.m., you can enjoy all of your traditional breakfast favorites or some of these decadent dishes. Eggs Benedict, featuring an English muffin topped with ham, two eggs, made any way you like, and topped with fresh-made hollandaise sauce. Plus, you'll also get your choice of hash browns or home fries. Perhaps something even more delectable. Townhouse Cafe's fabulous U.S. farm-raised butterfly trout grilled with a drizzle of hollandaise sauce, two eggs any way you like, hash browns or home fries, and either a biscuit or toast on the side. Absolutely delicious. Saturday brunch at the Townhouse Cafe in downtown Harrison. Arkansas State Police say an 18-year-old suspect is being held in connection with the fatal shooting of a decorated police officer. State Police spokesperson Bill Sadler says charges have not yet been filed against the suspect who is being held on Monday's killing of 41-year-old Newport Police Lieutenant Patrick Weatherford. Sadler says a few details will be released because the investigation is still ongoing. He says other people may be questioned in the shooting, but that there should be no fear in the community of further violence. Sadler says Weatherford was shot Monday night while responding to a call of a vehicle break-in in Newport. A Central Arkansas woman has pled guilty to second-degree murder in the fatal shooting of her husband last year. 31-year-old LaShonda Renee Macon accepted a plea agreement Monday requiring her to spend 25 years in prison. Circuit Judge Charles Clausen said in uh, set an uh, August sentencing date saying he wants more time to review the details of the January 2016 incident that led to 35-year-old Glenn Fred Macon's death. Court documents allege that Glenn Macon physically attacked LaShonda Macon while the couple was arguing. She says she took her phone when she tried to call the police and LaShonda Macon told authorities she shot her husband once from her car after he took off walking down the street. She remains free on a $100,000 bond. Police say a five-year-old boy died after he was left a day, left in a daycare vehicle all day in eastern Arkansas. The uh, West Memphis Police Department say the boy was picked up by the daycare at 6.40 a.m. on Monday, but was never taken inside the Accent Children's Health Services, which serves children with developmental disabilities. Police say that the boy was found dead, still strapped in a booster seat, more than eight hours later when the staff members prepared to load the van for the children to go home. The boy's cause of death hasn't been released, but the heat index uh, was near 100 degrees on Monday afternoon in the West Memphis area. The Arkansas Department of Human Services said an investigation into the facility is underway. The herbicide Decamba has ruined about 100 acres of soybeans at a state-funded agriculture experimental station in northeastern Arkansas. Northeast Research and Extension Center Director Chuck Wilson says the affected field will be uh, tilled and replanted. He says the damage was discovered Friday and that officials aren't certain where the herbicide originated from. The farm consists of 750 acres where the university's Science Research Center is set up in all aspects of farming uh, there, including effectiveness and potential uh, pitfalls of herbicides and pesticides, particularly on corn, cotton, rice, soybeans, and other crops. A semi-retired rancher and farmer 
who wasn't sought politically, who hasn't sought politically uh, having an office before, says he's going to challenge an Arkansas Republican congressman at the Democratic uh, as a Democrat next year. Mike Nelson says he'll be seeking the party's nomination to challenge Republican Representative Rick Crawford in the first congressional district. Crawford has held the seat since back in 2010 and is seeking re-election next year. Nelson, who is a 48 who is 48, criticized the house back legislation, and Crawford, who supported the repeal and replace major portions of the federal health care law, calling the plan a complete junk. Before we take a look at the weather forecast as we move on through the work week, here's the way the stock market ended today. Sam Alexander Pharmacy has expanded and is now offering many additional products and services. Their new pharmaceutical compounding area allows them to create products to fit the unique needs of a customer. They also have added Spinco Orthotic Shoes and Sandals, Dr. Comfort Diabetic Shoes, Baby Gifts by Aiden and Anias, and Toys by Melissa and Doug. Stop in today and let them help you with any of your specialty pharmaceutical needs. Sam Alexander Pharmacy, your local Health Mart Pharmacy in Harrison. storms around the state today. None of consistency, however. Uh, many of them uh, just lasting a few minutes, others a little longer. But again, this time of the year, once the humidity gets up there, that's when it generates the uh, uh, heat indices necessary for those little thunder showers, if you will, in the viewing area. And that's what happened today. Here's the way it looks as we move through the work week. It's going to get downright hot for the next few days. And again, that will be uh, a situation where the thunder showers will pop up here and there. Uh, It was 88 degrees this afternoon, pretty humid day out there. Tomorrow looks to be even warmer, partly cloudy skies on Thursday and 90 degrees. Likewise likewise for Friday, partly cloudy skies and 90 degrees, even warmer on Saturday, partly cloudy skies and 94 degrees, maybe even warmer. And then on Sunday, thunderstorms expected, particularly in the afternoon, slightly cooler, about 50% chance of rainfall in the afternoon, 86 degrees for a daytime high. And then we kick off the work week on Monday, sunny skies and 85 degrees. So get your uh, suntan lotion out and make sure you got a hat on if you're outside and drink lots of water. It's going to get hot. Stay with us. Be back in a moment. We'll take a look at sports from around the region as TKO8 News continues. My name is Nikki. I work at Dental Creations on the Square in Harrison, and I'm a dental assist. We're the first faces that the patients see. Um, We get them through the paperwork process, explain what's going on, and just let them know step by step what to expect, and you get to see them throughout the whole process. We want our patients to be happy. We want them to be comfortable, and that's really what it's about, getting the best results while making great relationships with people. Dental Creations on the Square in Harrison, next to the Big Red Boot. Sam Alexander Pharmacy has expanded and is now offering many additional products and services. Their new pharmaceutical compounding area allows them to create products to fit the unique needs of a customer. They also have added Spinco Orthotic Shoes and Sandals, Dr. Comfort Diabetic Shoes, Baby Gifts by Aiden and Anias, and Toys by Melissa and Doug. Stop in today and let them help you with any of your specialty pharmaceutical needs. Sam Alexander Pharmacy, your local Health Mart Pharmacy in Harrison. This is Josh from Harrison Battery and Tire. Lots of folks have been asking about roadside assistance, and now it's available. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, we can quickly and efficiently take care of your tires and battery issues with one phone call. Professional, secure, comforting to get you back on the road. No matter what time, no matter what type of vehicle you drive, call for details at 870-741-7041. Harrison Battery and Tire on the curve of Main Street in Harrison. HarrisonBatteryandTire.com. Big enough to serve, small enough to care. 
Well, the Harrison Big Macs took a trip down the road to Batesville and brought back a victory. The Big Macs earned a 12-7 win over the Batesville team on Monday afternoon. Harrison built an early lead and held off a Batesville surge for the win. Jake Morehouse got things going for the Big Macs in the second with a leadoff double into right field. Ozzie Sindlin sent a double of his own into right to score Morehouse for the first run of the ball game. Zach Still then scored Sindlin with a ground ball to make it a 2 to nothing Harrison lead. The Big Macs then added another two runs in the top of the third inning. Harrison then doubled its score in the top of the fifth with four runs. Bates will put three runs on the board in the bottom of the fifth, but Harrison would respond with another four in the top of the seventh. The Big Macs will next be be in action on Tuesday as the team hosts Mountain Home for a doubleheader beginning at 5.30 p.m. at Jack Williams Field. And for the second time in a week, head coach has resigned at Mountain Home High School. Jim Tetik was hired Tuesday night as the new head baseball coach at Rome, Georgia. Tetik spent 10 years in Mountain Home, including the last four as a head baseball coach. He was also an assistant coach for the high school football team, serving as offensive coordinator the last two years. Tactic says it's tough leaving Mountain Home, but he's excited about his future in Georgia. Tactic led the Mountain Home baseball team to a state runner-up finish and twice to the quarterfinals of the state tournament. Junior right-hander pitcher Trevor Steven was the first Razorback taken in the 2017 Major League Baseball first-year player draft on Tuesday afternoon when he was selected in the third round by the New York Yankees. Junior first baseman Chad Spanberger was the second Razorback taken in the draft when he was selected in the sixth round by the Colorado Rockies. Senior pitcher Cannon Chadwick was the third Razorback taken in the draft. He was selected in the ninth round by the New York Mets. And senior pitcher Dominique Tocello was the fourth Razorback taken in the draft. He was selected in the tenth round by the San Diego Padres. Keon Broxton and Travis Shaw each hit solo home runs and combined for five RBIs to help the Milwaukee Brewers beat the St. Louis Cardinals 8-5 and split their double hitter on Tuesday. The Cardinals won the opener 6-0 behind Jose Martinez, two home runs. In the nightcap, Shaw's eighth inning single against Trevor Rosenthal broke a 5-5 tie. Shaw, who was reinstated from the uh, family medical emergency program before the doubleheader, went 2-4-5 in the second game and drove in two runs. The teams resume their four-game series tonight at Bush Stadium. Stacy Penny of Hot Springs almost threw away a thousand bucks Sunday while fishing on Lake Hamilton. Lucky for him, he decided not to toss back the largemouth bass that he had just caught. He put the fish into the ice chest with some other fish that he had landed. Only later did he spot the purple tag on the bass, called the phone number on the tag, and learned that he was $1,000 richer after landing the prize fish number seven on the 2017 uh, $86,000 Hot Springs Fishing Challenge list. It was the seventh fish caught thus uh, so far in the 2017 Fishing Challenge and the fourth prize fish taken this year from Lake Hamilton. 54 prize fish remain in Lake Catherine and Lake Hamilton, including uh, the elusive $15,000 Big Owl. The 6th Annual Hot Springs Fishing Challenge will end at 5 p.m. on June 30. That wraps up our broadcast here for this evening. Thanks for joining us. Join us Monday through Friday at 6.30 and again at 10 p.m. As we continue to bring you local news, weather, sports, and local announcements from around the area on Harrison's broadcast station, TKO Channel 8. Now stay tuned for more local events around the viewing area. James McGuire. Don't tell me you know how to make a bomb out of a stick of chewing gum. Why, you got some? 